also this this element of like, well, what are you choosing the other person for? You know, what's the tell us? Um, that often goes unstated. People will have a desire for someone, but it's it's almost like the the dog chasing the the car, right? And when I, I and I talk to a, I've talked to many men who are like that, and sort of in the therapist role where they're like, I don't, they don't know what they want to do. They're just kind of really like chasing. Um, and <laughs> with uh, I guess it goes to the autobiographical a bit here. I I, I was in a relationship for more about a year and a half. Um, with, with someone who was was really wonderful in many ways, and part of why the relationship didn't work was, um, you know, the the telos we each of us had in mind was it wasn't that interesting to me. <laughs> if I'm being just really frank, um, not that it was a bad one. There was nothing immoral about it. It was um, it was fine, but it was divergent. And with Catherine, one of the things that struck me right away was, oh, she has, I mean, it didn't end up working, the plan didn't end up happening, <laughs> but she had one of, she wanted to go to medical school. And it, the idea was she wanted to um, step into a, a place of service towards others. And for me, it was like, oh, there's alignment in values. Like there's a, there's a mission, there's an end point. And so I knew I wanted that too. Um, you know, I, I grew up in a home where purpose was talked about a lot. And when my parents would talk about their marriage, they would talk about what is the marriage for? And my dad's always been deeply involved in, in the community, in the region. He was mayor for seven years um, in Dryden here. And, and so that was always at the forefront, that there's a, a larger purpose. And for, for me with Catherine, it was like she... She wants to serve other people. The, the goal of, of medicine is, is outward focused. And there was a, a practical nature to that. And that I could agree that helping people that way is good. Um, and then there was, you know, as, as a Christian as well, you know, a, a larger picture as well that I thought, this is really exciting. I, I like this. And if I'm going to join my life with her and hers with mine, um, there's there's a shared endpoint that's beyond us, which, you know, for you know almost almost 18 years now, I mean, has has really carried us. It's looked different um, than we anticipated, rather than being a, a medical um, goal. Uh, it's been through you know therapy and counseling and and that kind of thing. But um, that that really bound us together, and for me it was a uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on board. We can talk about a shared vision, and the the marriage was a vehicle for more than just, hey, we really like each other, even though we we really do enjoy being with one another, and and that's shaped us over time as well. Where you know decisions we've made, there's disagreements about how and when, um, but big picture, we're we're aiming at generally the same things, and that gives the the relationship, um, not, it's not only a binding agent, um, but it it propels it forward as well. It's not a, a marriage where we look at each other and go, oh, well, okay, so we're together. So I guess we'll watch Netflix again tonight. And that's kind of it. That's what we do, right? It's, um, and we do enjoy watching Netflix together. Don't get me wrong. Um, but there's there's fuel. It's, it's headed somewhere. And um, you know, I guess it's like riding a bike. If you have some momentum, it's it's easier to stay upright and to keep moving forward than if, um, and you have to be headed somewhere, right? And what do they say when you're you're learning to ride a motorcycle? One of the first things they say is, um, wherever you're looking, that's where you're going to go. So don't look down at your feet. Don't look at the things you don't want to hit um, or else you're going to trash this motorcycle. Look to where you want to go. And if you're looking in the same direction, broadly speaking, especially far down the road, um, that keeps you balanced and that keeps you, keeps you from wiping out. And uh, I, that's been a, a, a major theme in, in our relationship. And I, it's hard to, for me to think of the, uh, the marriage crisis in the West and, and decouple that from the moral relativism 
um, that's out there and, and the, the death of a, a grand narrative um, within the culture itself. So and I'm not saying that it's impossible, um, but I think it, it ups the degree of difficulty when you don't have those, those overarching um, values directed at something. Um, when you pull that away, it's it's difficult. And and you know, people that have good marriages that are not Christians that I know, um, I, I have found every time. I'm not saying these don't exist, but every time they have had um, shared um, big picture goals together, and that's that's kept them bound together. When you move beyond the hey, you look really hot stage um, of the relationship. <laughs> 